today. Those of you who can stand, I want you to modify it for you. Okay. Do what you can standing. If you prefer to sit, do what you can sitting. If you need to sit into, you know, the entire time, not a problem. Do that as well. Okay. But I just want you to be mindful of your positioning. Your feet positioning, okay? Because it's a habit of ours to always go back to here, okay? Or here, one foot forward. Unless I tell you to put one foot forward or come in, I want you to stand about hip width right there, toes forward or slightly out, okay? Not here, not here, and not here, okay? The reminders is because I see it while we're working out. The other thing is I see some of you still here, Routing your shoulders here and the neck is getting involved. I want you to do what you can to keep the shoulders to the side and relax the neck, okay? This is gonna hurt you. This is gonna hurt you. Just keep it neutral, keep it re relaxed and go from there. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about is your grip, okay? Some of you have medical conditions that if you're gripping too heavy on the dumbbell or the ball, you're gonna add pressure to the heart. So don't grip as heavy or as hard. Don't white knuckle it, that's what we call. It. Just hold it in the hand, okay? Also, your wrist. You need to lock the wrist. Do not let the wrist do this unless we're supporting it on the chair with the knees because the knees are supporting it. If not, you're curling like this, you're going to hurt your wrist, okay? One more reminder, the breath is in through the nose. First lips easy, out through the mouth. Okay, in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more time, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay, all right, so we're gonna stand up right here. Belly button in, chest is up. We're gonna get started, we're gonna warm up standing up, just do what you can and we're gonna go to the chair. All right, we're gonna reach across the body and pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, we're gonna double punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Perfect. We're gonna take the arms to the side, still with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, so you can see my feet pulling the belly button. We're gonna do that again. Reach, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, double punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Perfect. Arms are here, taking it out to the side. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're gonna open up the fingers, palms facing back, chest is up, and we're gonna press. Open up the chest, shoulders, keep on pressing. Right there, relax the neck. Perfect, okay? We're gonna hold. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna bring the arms up. Right here, palms are open. We're gonna squeeze the elbows together. They don't need to touch though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold. Good, taking it back again, chest is up and pulse. Just keep on pressing back. Bring up the rib cage. And hold. Perfect. Arms are up. Same thing, everybody. Here we go. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach up and pull down all on one side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's go to the other side. So you're grabbing and pulling, pulling down. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm gonna adjust the screen, stay right there. All right, this time we're gonna go with the doubles. Arms are up, but we're gonna lift the knee. If you can't do this, I just want you to do the arms, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And down. Good job, everybody, okay? So we're working the balance, always coming back to a little hip width. Arms are up, palms are open. We're gonna take it overhead and down. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Bend the elbows, six. Bend the elbows, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Hold it overhead. We're gonna place the palms facing up and we're gonna push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And down. Good, so the upper body's getting very warm. Let's do the legs. We're gonna do what is called air squats. So I'm gonna go back to my bench. I'm gonna sit in my chair, okay? Hips are hip width, toes are forward. Okay, I'm halfway on my chair. One, in the chair. Two, we're squatting, okay? Three, four, five, six, seven. You have to stick the booty out. Eight, nine, one more, and 10. What I want you to do is I want you to stay right here and I want you to squeeze your tush, squeeze the top of the leg, tighten it up, tight, tight, tight. We're activating all of these muscles and relax, okay, relax. We're gonna roll the shoulders, get the body ready. Just roll the shoulders. Let's take it forward. Perfect. All right, we're gonna do that one more time. Okay, I'm gonna sit in the chair. Legs are forward. All my joints are aligned. Same thing, I'm coming up. One. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, yes. Let's do this, everybody. Seven, eight, nine, one more. We're gonna stand tall right there. I want you to squeeze and tighten up the tush and the front of the leg, make it tight. And relax, good job. Let's roll the shoulders again. Right there, and let's go forward. Good, so we're gonna start in the chair. We're gonna get some stretch in to prepare us for the workout, okay? Right there. We're gonna reach back. I want you to reach back to the sides of your chair, right there, okay? Pull the shoulders back. Relax the neck, tilting it forward, but I want you to still look at the screen, looking at me, 
because that's going to help you from getting dizzy and falling forward. Okay. So hold that there. You're going to feel the stretch with the shoulder blades in the neck, in the chest. Beautiful. Sitting up top, we're going to go with the opposite palm. Okay. To the other knee, grabbing to the back of the chair and let's twist. Let's go to the other side, same thing. Palm to knee, reach back and twist. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna get the fingers involved. So we're gonna connect the fingers, hold right there, pushing forward. Stretching out the fingers, the wrists. We're gonna take it up overhead. I want you to pull the arms up so you can lift up the rib cage, lift up the arms, feel the stretch of the palms, the wrists, the elbows, under the armpits and into the chest. Perfect. All right, we're gonna start with the pull, okay? So once again, if you're interested in a weighted pull, let me know, okay? We're gonna go with the wooden pull. Chest is up right there. Two fingers, pointer and thumb, right here. We're gonna push forward and up. Okay, going for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, two more, nine, one more, and ten. Let's hold the bar above the head. Okay, so right here, right now, what I want you to do is I am not sitting back in my chair. I am sitting halfway on my chair. I want you to reach up so you can get another stretch under the arms and in the torso, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna gently bend to the side and look down. You're gonna feel the stretch to the side of the trunk. Back to center, let's go to the other side. And up. All right, so we're gonna go a little wider on the pole, okay? This time we're gonna tilt our chin forward, but we're gonna still look at the screen and we're gonna take it right there. One, two, it's behind the head, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more and 10 and bring the bar down, okay? That's a little harder. That's working the back of the shoulder, okay? Some of you don't have the range of motion, so just do what you can. All right, we're gonna go back with the chest, holding it with two fingers, the pointer and the thumb. Let's do it again. One, only taking it to the chest. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten, and down, okay? If you need water, please get water, but we're going to keep on going. We're taking the arms up, stretch it up, okay? Stretch out that body right there. We're going to look down, and we're going to work the side of the core, get some stretch from the pinky finger all the way through the arm, all the way to the hip. Let's take it back up. We're gonna go to the other side. Same thing, everybody. And up. All right, I'm gonna check in. Let's get some water. All right, 
Here we go again. This time, we're going to have the palm facing up, okay? Palm is up right there. Okay? We're going to go short little raises. One, two, don't close the fist. Three, just let it rest in the center of the palm. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And hold. And down. Good job. Good job. All right. So we're going to grip it here. Okay. And we're going to go with the paddling stroke. You ready? But we're going to go to both sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good job, everybody. All right, we're gonna take the palm facing up. Don't close it, keep it open. Rest that pole in the center of your palm. The chest is up, shoulders are straight. We're gonna go for short raises. One, two, three, four. We're working the shoulder. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold. Extend the elbows. Elbows need to be locked and straight. Don't bend the elbows and down good job everybody okay let's take that stroke again chest is up if you want to stand up you may stand up for these exercises it's your choice here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten good let's put the pole down for right now and we're going to grab one of your exercise ball, your mini balls, and we're going to stand up. If you're going to sit, you have not a problem. You can sit. You're just going to have to move a little forward doing this. Okay. We're going to stand up. I want to bring the heart rate up for more cardio. Okay. Get your balance. We're going to take it around the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. I want you to hold it there. Bring the shoulders back, tilt the chin, and bring up the arms. Okay, feel that stretch. Good. We're going to go in the opposite direction. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Same thing, reaching back, tilting the chin, raising the arms. And down. Good job, everybody. Good job, okay? All right, we're going to work the chest. Okay, we're going to have the elbows to the side here. Palms are open. And we're going to go one, two, three, four. Watch now. One, four. And up, okay? You ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. Squat. One, two, three, and four. And up. Okay. We're going to get the cardio up again. So we're going to take it around the back. Let's see if we can go a little faster, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're gonna go right into the opposite direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. We're gonna go with the combination of the squat and the press. Elbows to the side. Here we go for four. One, two, three, four. Squat. One, two, three, four. Pulse, one, two, three, four, squat, one, two, three, four, last time, one, two, three, four, squat, one, two, three, and four, and up. Good job, everybody. All right, we're still working with one ball. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to have that ball, okay, palm down right there. I want you to grip it okay, right here, and we're going to squeeze, okay? We're working the wrist. What you're doing is pulsing, squeezing, working the thumb and the wrist and the fingers. You ready? We're going for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold. Beautiful. Let's go to the other side. Same thing. Fist is down. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work the chest, okay? We're going to bend the elbows, go here, and switch. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep the arms bent. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, okay? So make sure you're not locked out. Have the elbow bent, okay, right there. We're going to go back to working the fist the wrist and the palm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold. You guys are amazing. Keep on going. Let's go to the other side. Same thing. Calm down. Chest this up. Let's do this, people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold. Woo! Good job. All right. So bring that chest up. Okay, soften the knees. Here we go for the chest. One, two, open up the chest. Three, four, five, okay, six, open it up. Seven, eight, nine, and hold. Bring up that chest and down. Good job, everybody. Good job. Okay, so we're going to pick up the second ball. Two balls. Right there. You can do this in the chair, definitely in the chair, but all of you have been doing this so you can stand. We're going to take the ball there and small circles, okay? Gently working the shoulder, small circles, palms are facing out, not down, okay, nice and easy, and we're going to reverse that. Good. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, and hold. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to pay. Face the palms upward, and we're going to go into a bicep curl right there, okay? Here we go. One, two, three. Keep the chest up. Four, right there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold. And down. Good job, everybody. Good job, okay? It's not easy doing the ball because you're really working a lot with your hands, okay? All right, we're gonna go to the chair with the ball. And we're just gonna modify it. If you wanna stand, that's up to you, okay? But we're gonna go here. Palms are forward, okay? We're gonna go up and to the side, okay? Palms are up, one, two, Three, four, five, six, two more, seven, and eight. All right, hold it there. Pops are up. We're going to go into bicep curl. Let's bring them in. One, two, three. Four, chest is up, five, press with the feet, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, hold, and down. Good job, everybody. Okay, we're going to put one ball down. We're going to take one ball, place it between the knees and the hips, okay? So I want it right there in the middle, not here, that's too easy. I want it right here so you can feel the, the tension in her thigh, okay? What I want you to do is sit tall. We're gonna hold the chair and we're gonna pulse. I want you to squeeze hard. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. Keep on going. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and hold. Okay, bring the chest up right there. Belly button back, squeeze the legs. You can hold and relax. Good job, good job, okay? So think about that. You wanna stay tall, don't round the back, okay? I'm not in the chair, I'm halfway through the chair. All right, we're gonna do that again, right there. Chest is up, engage your core, engage your legs. We're going for 15, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, one more, let's hold. Okay, squeeze, 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 make it tight. And relax, good, let's grab our other ball. We're gonna go back to the palm raises, forward and to the side, okay? Palms are facing up, front and side, good, two, three, four, five, six, two more, seven, one more, and eight. Good job, good job. All right, we're gonna take the ball there, and we're gonna hold the ball to the front. Okay, palms are straight, elbows are locked, open the palm. We're gonna press at the same time, going for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, relax the arm, okay? Relax if you need to rest right here. Okay? Chest is up, good. We're gonna do that again. This time we're gonna take it above the head right there okay pressing palms are open you see my fingers sitting tall let's do it again for 10. one two three four five six seven eight nine and hold and down good job so you're going to feel it in the inside of the thigh but we're also engaging the core so we're going to take the balls place it right there under the arms Make the elbows stiff. Don't bend the elbows. Keep it open right there. Okay? Palms are open and we're going to press. We're going to go for 15. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I want you to hold. And relax okay so we're working all of these muscles including the shoulder shoulder and the back so keep that elbow stiff okay? perfect let's do that one more time take it there okay? arms are stiff to the outside palms are open let's go for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. hold we're gonna make it a little harder, so we're gonna go for five more, but I want you to hold every time I say one. Hold. Okay. Two, hold. Three, hold. Four, hold. Last one, five, and hold. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna go back to one ball. Okay. We're gonna keep that ball right there. We're gonna hold the chair. Remember, we're not in the chair. We're gonna extend the leg, working the top of the leg, okay? I want you to extend the leg as straight as you can. Pull the toes to the shin. Here we go. One, all on one side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Going to the other side. Okay, so you can tilt back if you have to, okay? I just don't want you to round your back. Here we go. One, two, extend the leg. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
four, straighten that knee. Five, best you can. Six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, one more, and 10. Very good, good job, okay? Good job. This time we're gonna alternate, okay? So if you need to hold, you can hit, you can lean back, but don't round back, okay? All right, we're gonna extend the legs one more time. Keep the knees straight the best that you can. Here we go. One, changing legs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great job, everybody. Eight, nine, 10, keep on going, 11, one more, and 12. Good job, get some water, I'm checking in. Perfect, everybody, we're gonna start with the dumbbells. All right, just a reminder, you can do it standing up if you prefer, okay? If your balance is really good and you prefer and you're stronger, you can do it standing up. If you do not have dumbbells, I just want you to make a fist and I want you to use your body weight. If you don't want to do that and you have water bottles at home, you can use water bottles, okay? We're going to start with the easy exercise for the front of the arm, the biceps. We're going to leave the palms facing the leg and we're going to rotate it and come up. Okay, here we go. We're going to go for 12. One, two, three, four, five. Remember to lock that wrist. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One more. And 12, okay? So make sure you have your posture, chest is up and you're working. If it's too light, go a little heavier. You know your body, you know what works for you, okay? Good, I'm gonna stand up. We're gonna do that one more time, but we're gonna do something different. We're gonna go with the hammer curl, shoulder press, bring it down and down, alternating, okay? Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Good job, everybody. Okay. So while we're standing, those of you who are in the chair and you need to stay in the chair, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna do the same exercise. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take one foot back, one foot forward, okay? Just like that. Toes are forward, back leg is bent, and heel is up, okay? Right there, you're just gonna hold, okay? You're gonna hold. This time we're gonna do doubles, one, Two, three, four, two more, five, last one, and six. Okay. All right, bring that leg forward, take the other leg back, okay? Toes are forward, the heel is slightly up, leg is bent, okay? Right there, okay? Good, we're gonna do that curl one more time with the shoulder. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. One more, everybody. Six, good job. Bring that leg forward, okay? So remember, you can do this in the chair if you need to. We're gonna double up the weights. If you don't want to, stick with one weight, put one weight down. We're gonna work the side of the core, okay? Right here, you're gonna stand tall, keep the head there, and we're going to lean, okay? One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Good job. So we're going to switch sides. Same thing. Okay. So be mindful. Don't flick the head. That's when you're going to get dizzy. Just do the bend with the side. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tighten that up. Eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Good. I'm going to go to the chair to modify the people in the chair. The rest of you, if you want to stand up, you can keep on standing up. We're going to do that one more time. We're going to take it to the other side. All right. I'm just going to let it here. Stand tall. Let's do it again. We've got to work that trunk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. We're going to mix it up, okay? So stay right there. We're going to take the arms to the front. Okay? I'm going to do it in the chair. You're going to do it standing up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Good. We're going to double it up. Take it to the other side. Okay? Sitting tall, going for the bend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me two more. Eleven. One more. Add twelve. Good. All right, so if you're tired and the weight is heavy, just drop the weight, use the body weight. We are going to go with the shoulder raise through the front. This time we're going to go with the doubles, okay? I'm doing it in my chair. You can do it standing up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, one more, and ten. Good job. All right, we're going to go to the chair. We're going to get some stretch in, get some water if you need it. All right. We're in the chair. We're going to stretch the legs and the chest. So what we're going to do is just do what you can. We're going to bend the knee, pause, we're going to go under the ankle, and we're going to gently raise. If you can, you just do what you can, okay? If not, you just take the time to breathe and relax and just catch up. Hold it there. Beautiful. We're going to relax that leg, lean back in the chair, and bring the knee to the chest. We're going to bring that knee down. We're going to go and do the exact same thing to the other side. Okay? I'm going under the ankle. I'm gently lifting. Okay? You can hinge back and hold. Good. Relaxing that knee, leaning back, and gently bringing that knee to the chest. Perfect. Okay. All right. Right here, we're going to open the thigh. Okay. We're going to keep the palms on the knees and we're going to push forward and we're going to look over the shoulder. And going to the other side, pressing forward with the shoulder, looking over the other shoulder. Beautiful. 
Let's grab our loop bands. Remember what I said, there's two different types. Use what you got. All right, we're gonna take it to the ankles or the shins, whatever is comfortable for you. If you have weak ankles, then I say use more of the shins. Okay. We're in the chair. Okay. I'm not back, I'm here. We're gonna work the legs. Remember, this is a no impact. Okay. All right, we're gonna keep it here. We're gonna be on the balls of the feet right under the toes, but not flat. You ready? We're gonna go out. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, you're going to start feeling the tension in the calves, in the ankles, and maybe in the back of the thigh. Okay, I want you to hold on to the edge of your chair. We're going to go one heel forward like that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We're gonna go right back with that first exercise. Let's see how fast we can do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. Good job, everybody. Good job. All right, we're going to do the heel again. Okay, so sit tall. Sit tall. Let's do the heels. Let's see how fast we can do it. We're going to go for 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. All right. We're going to keep the legs open, okay? The width of the hips. So we use the ball to work the inside. Now we're working the outside. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do calf raises. So I want you to grab the chair, sit up tall, and we're gonna raise the toes on the toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I want you to hold. Okay, you may feel that in the arches of your ankles, okay, or your feet. Right here behind the heels up into the calves perfect okay and down what we're going to do is we're going to bring the legs forward make sure you're balancing in the chair and i want you to pull the toes towards the shins we're going to stretch out the calves hold right there pull you're going to feel it if you crack then i want you to stop but make sure you're supporting yourself in the chair good let's bring it right back we're gonna do that calf raises again. So open up, okay? Because you need the tension of the bands. Here we go. Let's go for 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and let's hold them up. Good, good, good. All right, let's take it forward. Okay, hold the chair, bring the chest up, pull the toes back towards the shins. Nice. Let's bring the legs back to center. Okay, right there. All right. So we're going to do the Chinese jump rope. If you don't get it, just do what you can. Okay. Remember, there's no pounding. Okay. So all it is is one, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good job. All right, we're going to take off the bands off the legs. They're probably feeling it right now. Okay. Remember, this is a rubber band. This is a rubber, so it's a pull. Okay, it's a pull. We're going to take the bands and we're going to place it right at the forearms, right above the wrists. Okay, we're going to be right here in line with the shoulders. Not high, not low, keep it in line. Palms are tight, and we're gonna gently press outwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. Remember, you can do the standing up if you wish to. Okay, just make sure your posture and your stance is correct. All right, we're gonna take it overhead right there. 
Lift the body. Okay, lift the body. Palms are facing each other. Lock out the wrist. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and hold. And down, okay? So you're probably feeling fatigued because we're doing this the last part of the session, okay? And we've worked out a lot. This is a pull, okay? We're gonna do that again for the shoulder. We're hitting the shoulder of the rotator cuff right here, chest is up, press with the feet. Let's take it outwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and hold. Taking up, reach up. Let's go for 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and hold. Perfect. We're right at the shoulder and we're going to direct traffic right there. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And down. Okay, so you're going to feel it here, maybe inside the chest. And depending on how, how your neck feels, you may feel it because this is a pull. Okay, remember that. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the palms facing up and elbows are right on the outside of the chest. Okay. Remember, you can do this standing up. Keep it there. We're going to pull outwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold. And down. You're probably feeling it. You're probably feeling it. All right, we're going to do that. One last time. Right here, traffic with doubles. One, two, elbows up, three, facing forward, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Taking it to the side of the chest. Let's pull outwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold. And down. Good job, everybody. Good job. All right, we're going to stand up with our band. Okay. You don't need to see my feet. Okay. We're going to take that band and we're going to put it to the back. Okay. We're going to grab the band with one thumb or what you can. And it's a reach test, okay? It's a reach test. You can also do this with a towel or the other bands. All I want you to do is hold and straighten out if you can. If you cannot, not a problem, okay? You're gonna feel the stretch in your shoulder. You're gonna feel the stretch in your arm, right there. And down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna reach back right there and stretch out. Okay. If you can't do it with the band, you can do it with your handle bands, okay? Because the loop bands are pretty tight. Okay. Right there, you're gonna feel it in that shoulder and the stretch in the arm. Okay. Good job. Let's get rid of the band. All right, two tennis balls. You're gonna go with the two tennis balls. We're gonna put it on the feet, we're in the chair, and I don't want you to smash them. I just want you to hold them gently under the arch of your foot and rotate them front and back. Roll them front and back, okay? From toe to heel, just like that. You're gonna feel it in your knees, okay? Because we're using the ball to help work the joint in the knees, okay? You can hold the side of the chair, you can lean back, but don't, don't hunch forward, okay? All I want you to do is massage the bottom of your feet, but this is also working the joint in the knee and ankle, okay? Keep it going, keep it going. Let's go a little faster, okay? 
right there. Let's go a little faster. It's like running in the chair. Okay, right there. Good. Don't stop. Breathe. Keep it moving. Heart rate is going to come up. Don't stop. And relax. Good job. Okay. Adjust your chair if you need to. Okay. We're working that joint. Take a breath because we're going to do that one more time. We're going to try to go for 30 seconds, everybody. But what I want you to do is do what you can. You ready? All right, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's do this. Keep on moving. Okay. Nice and easy. Front and back. You don't have to go fast. Okay, just keep on moving. We're going for 30 seconds. Here we go. Okay. We're halfway there. We're at 15. Keep on moving that. Going with the tennis balls, we're at 21. Keep on moving, everybody. Keep on moving. Heart rate is up. And stop. Good job, okay? Good job. So if you can't get cardio, get your tennis balls out. While you're on the couch, while you're under your desk, get some movement. Use that for the joint in the knees, in the ankles. It's also going to bring your heart rate up. We got one more set of that. So give me 30 seconds more. You ready? All right, here we go, everybody. Let's go. Move, 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 move that ball back in front. Okay, keep it going. Small movements, big movements, whatever you can do. Massage that feet, but don't press hard. Don't press hard. Okay. We're almost there. Keep it moving. Woo! Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Here we go. And done. Perfect. All right, let's put that tennis balls on the side. Good job, everybody. So when people say you can't get cardio sitting in the chair, tell them to ask PK, okay? All right, let's get some stretch in, okay? We're going to take the arm across, support the elbow sitting tall. Remember, you can do the standing up. I want you to massage your neck. Make sure you're breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth because your breath helps to detox the body and helps to avoid pain the next day because it breaks up all the lactic acid in the body by your breath, okay? You can help it out. Let's go to the other side. We're going to bring that elbow across. Take the hand, palm behind the neck. Hold that elbow up and massage the back of the neck. Just go easy. If it's tender, don't overdo it. You don't have to overdo it. Good, 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 good. Okay, so we're gonna take the arm up and we're gonna bend. I'm gonna stand, you can do it in the chair. You're gonna take the two fingers and place it right behind the elbow and press. You can do this standing or you can do this in the chair. Okay. We're stretching out the tricep. Good. So we're going to go to the other side, two fingers behind the elbow and gently press. Nice job, everybody. Nice job. Okay. So we're going to take the thumb and we're going to place it right there and we're going to push gently so you can feel it on the top of the forearm right here that stretch including in the palm okay right there just hold and we're going to turn it around gently pull the fingers back i've seen people really really pull it back hard and get hurt you don't need to do that let's go to the other hand thumb inside of the palm and hold And reverse it gently, pushing back. Beautiful. All right, we're going to push the fingers one more time forward, gently, okay? stretching out the palms, the wrists, the forearms. We're going to take it overhead. Once again, you can do this in the chair. Okay? Lift the body. We're going to turn it around so the point is up. We're going to look forward and gently arch. Okay. 
you can do this in the chair as well. Bringing it back overhead, right there. And we're gonna gently bend to the side. And to the other side. Perfect. We're gonna open the palms right there. Okay. We're gonna do what is called a chair. Okay. We're gonna squat right there. Hold right there. You're gonna feel the tired in your legs. Just hold. And up. Good job, everybody. Good job. All right, so we're gonna do cat and cow. You can do this standing or in the chair. Those of you standing, stay there. I'm gonna do it in the chair, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull our shoulders forward and just do this. And then we're gonna pull our shoulders back, look to the ceiling and pull it back, okay? For those of you standing, you're gonna go here. And then you're gonna go here. You ready? Let's go into cat. And let's pull it back into cow. One more time into cat. And pull it back into cow. Last time into cat. And last time into cow. Perfect. All right, everybody, we're at that end. What I want to do is I want to tap. So all I want you to do, whether you're sitting or standing, is I want you to tap. Tapping the abdomen, tap, okay? Waking all the body up, the cells of the body, okay? Right there. Taking it to the chest, the lungs, okay? You can get circulation by doing this gently, okay? The body wakes up, okay? I want you to charge it with an intent. I want you to tell your body that you're healthy, okay? That you're very healthy and that you have a lot of energy and you're happy. Let's take it onto the shoulders and the um, shoulder blades right there to the back, right here. Up to the neck, right there. Back down to the shoulders. Right there. We're gonna take it right there onto the sternum, chest plate. Okay. We're gonna take it up the neck by the ears. Okay. Gently on the earlobes. Okay. Gently, I'm not hitting hard. Okay. I'm gonna take it to the temple and to the crown of the head. Okay. Waking up all those cells, telling my body that it's time to be healthy. Okay. Right there. Onto the jaw, okay, right there. Good. The cheekbones, the eyes, the nose, the cupid's bow, the lips. Perfect. You need to talk to your body, okay? We've been so conditioned that we just go to the doctor, the doctor takes care of it. Your body has the ability to heal. You just have to tell it to do its job. If you're having aches and pains and you're having things come up, you need to have that conversation with the one most important person in that life, and that is you. And you need to talk to your body to tell your body to react the way you want it to, okay? It's only going to respond to what you say. So today we're going to do the ha. And with that is I want you to tell your body that I'm healthy and strong. I am healthy and strong and I'm healthy and I'm strong. Okay. All right. We're going to start with the detox breath. Let's take it up and the way. Let's hear it. Take it up and the way. One more time up. And the way. This time, I want you to bring in healing energy for your body, okay? We have food that we eat to make our body live, but we need that vitalizing energy to keep our mind and ourselves healthy. So let's scoop it up. And 
bring it in. And up. And bring it in. One more time, up. And bring it in. All right, the ha. Now I want you to tell yourself that I am healthy and strong. That is what you're going to program your body today, okay? You have to believe it, you have to know it, and you have to trust it. Let's take it up. One more. Bring up all that good, strong, healing, love. Bring it to the heart. Three times, everybody. Good job. Nice pump today, class.